Hello everyone, my name is Chip and this is Versus, and as always, my lovely co-host Josh is here. Hey Josh, how you doing? Uh, not too bad. Uh, did my civic duty, got my jab done. Oh, very nice, very nice. I haven't been able to do that yet. Wouldn't have taken you for an anti-vaxxer? <laughs> no, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm not anti-vaxxed. It's, it's very important that everyone goes and gets vaxxed. It's just, uh, unlike a lot of people in this pandemic, I'm in the very fortunate position of being young, healthy, and fully required to work. So my schedule for getting vaccinated is a lot tighter than a lot of other people's. So, you know, given I'm young and healthy and my schedule is a bit skew with, I've not been able to get myself an appointment just yet, but that means people who are more vulnerable to the virus are, are able to. So have you got both shots or just your first one? Just the first one. I like how you consistently use the word young as though you're trying to convince yourself more than everyone else. Josh, I am a bald man in desperate need of a haircut. <laughs> young is the only thing I've got left to hold on to. <laughs> 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 all right so i don't know about you but i spent uh, all last night scrambling to get some midnight hunt cards uh because they released on mtgo i lucked out a little bit yeah. uh, i managed to get all of mine just this morning oh very nice managed to get a couple of test games in but uh <laughs> they were they were less than stellar results yeah i i have not been able to do that i had to find the closest uh previously existing equivalent to test my my deck so i've i've spent uh, a lot of my night uh hitting f5 on a lot of pages going to my rental service trying to rent cards before other people can rent them buying cards uh getting two cards that i wanted in an order and then when i went to the checkout there was only one card available i have got many little transactions on my cards right now that i'm sure the <laughs> bank's not going to be happy with amazing yeah. So the goal for today is uh, we're going to play some modern decks using some of the newer cards from Midnight Hunt. Is that what you've built today, Josh? Uh, yes. Yes, I have. I have taken several cards from Midnight Hunt, crammed them into a deck, and let's see if it works. Well, I'll see you after the deck decks. Okay. Okay, everyone. So the new cards that got printed in Midnight Hunt for me that I thought would really make a good modern deck were Consider, Memory Deluge, Field of Ruin, Sunset Revelry, and Pithing Needle. So I put these in a white-blue control shell. Memory Deluge is able to dig for the answers we need, so it's acting a bit like a fact or fiction replacement, except our opponent doesn't get to split the cards up into non-ideal piles. Consider works very well with our Snapcaster Mages because we can even put the card in the graveyard and cast it with Snapcaster. Snapcaster Mage, and then we get to draw a card with the Consider anyway, so we can essentially draw two if the situations are right. I put Sunset Revelry and Pithing Needle in the sideboard. Pithing Needle, I think, is very good against your Tron style matchups. I don't think that's what Josh is going to be playing, but I'm prepared for anything. And Sunset Revelry, I think, might be something that I have to bring in against whatever Josh is planning on doing. But overall, we're a white blue control shell. Our ways to win are with Teferi and Shark Typhoon, and maybe even Snapcaster Beats if it gets there and a cheeky Hall of the Storm Giants. And now that you know what I'm playing, let's go on to Josh's deck list. All right, everyone, it's time for the deck tech for my list. Uh, we're going with a Mardu Dragon Tribal-ish control list. So we have all the basic lands that you'd expect. We've got Cave of the Frost Dragon, because Dragon. We've got Esper Sentinel, just for good value. Inquisition Thoughtseize, pet cards. I can't live without Hand Hate. Unholy Heat, so the new hotness for modern. Infernal Grasp, new card from Midnight Hunt, one of the reasons that we're doing this video. I think it's good. I am looking forward to testing it because it just feels like a better Doom Blade. We've got Cathartic Reunion, just for some draw. Smoldering Egg, another new card from Midnight Hunt. Dragon, starts out as a 0-4 Defender, gets counters as we cast Instants and Sorceries. Once it gets 7 or more, then it transforms into a 4-4 that shocks any target whenever we cast an Instant or Sorcery. Kind of what I built the deck around. We got two Blood Moons because we're running plenty of basics. And just to catch out the greedy decks. Kai's Guile, pretty standard card. Vindicate, standard removal. Nahiri for a little bit of everything. She's gonna... Uh, she's gonna be a bit of removal. She's gonna give us a bit more draw power. Just another body to soak up hits so we don't take all of it. Timeless Dragons in here as well, just for a late game beta. It also helps that I can cycle it away and then eternalize it so it's a 4-4. We also have Prismatic Ending as the premier removal in the main. And then in the sideboard, we have Wear and Tear to deal with artifacts and enchantments. Blossoming Calm so that we 
have Hexproof, Rest in Peace to deal with Graveyard Shenanigans, Collective Brutality for Control, Dam for Widespread Removal, Pillage to deal with Annoying Lands, Colligan's Command for General Value, and Engineer Explosives in case we go up against something token-y or just need another board wipe. And with that, let's see if Chip's ready for some games. All right, so you get to go first, Josh. That's a mulligan. Well, this is a keep. I can keep this. Bottom this. Yeah. Gonna play a Bloodstain Mire. Fetch. Shock. Your favorite card. Ooh, I love it. It's your turn. I really undervalued Esper Sentinel as a card for a very long time because I thought it was legendary. It is not. <laughs> it is not. Play an island and pass the turn to you. I will play a Blood Crypt. Untapped. Shocking. And cast a Smoldering Egg. Oh, it's an egg that smolders. Yes, I will attack this turn. Get in. I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to let you draw a card. Why, thank you. To cast Consider, my new card from Midnight Hunt. Yeah. Mine is the smoldering egg itself. And I'm going to put Cryptic Command in the graveyard. Ha! Huh? I am confuzzled. Why? Why would you put Cryptic in the bin? Well, it's a bit early for Cryptic, isn't it? You're going to cast Prismatic Ending on your Esper Sentinel. That is rude. And I'm going to pay one to prevent you from drawing. Pass the turn to you. Well, Motobug. <laughs> <laughs> and Bloodstained Maya. Mm -hmm. Pass the turn. Ooh, a filter land. Going to cast Prismatic Ending on your Esper Sentinel, and I'm going to pay the one. Rude. I mean, you're turning my one mana removal spells into two mana removal spells. That's still good. Regardless. Uh, fetch. Going to get a Survive Triumph intact. I may regret that. We shall see. Cave of the Frost Giant in... Frost giant, frost dragon in <laughs> tapped. Next thing you know, I'll be playing in the hall of the mountain king. Hey, <laughs> I, I believe that song is uh, public domain, so we might be able to get it on the video. <laughs> I'd be very disappointed if it wasn't. <laughs> I'm going to cast Snapcast Image in my main phase, targeting a prismatic ending. Well, I have something to say about that. No. Oh. Sack your Snapcast to exile your bin. Yeah. And also, okay. I'll put three counters on my smoldering egg. How many do you need? Again. You need seven? I'll get there. The, you got me with the Kaya's Guile. I wasn't expecting that. Woo. We're going to vindicate your field of ruin. Okay. Are you running a deck with just no basics? You'll have to find out the hard way. <laughs> All right, go to my turn. Yes, I will allow this. I'm going to run out to Fairy, Time Reveler, and I'm going to bounce your Smoldering Egg. I see. And then I'll just pass the turn. That's just rude. Get the Smoldering Egg back down and pass the turn. going to tick up my Teferi, and then I'm just going to pass. End of yours, I'm going to fetch... Fetch up a swamp. See, I do have basics. Cave of the Frost Dragon. And pass turn. Gonna Archmage's Charm to draw two cards. Gonna cast Consider. Put Misty Rainforest in the graveyard. Go to uh, my turn. Tick up my Teferi. Play a Castle Ventress. And then I'm just gonna pass the turn. Oh, that's an option. Let's... Let's Plane Cycle a Timeless Dragon. Okay. Yep, that's a card that exists. And then... Noticing a theme here, Josh. Are you a Mardu dragon stack? No. <laughs> you can't prove anything. And then going to eternalize my dragon. Yep, that's very fair. And pass turn. All right. Well, I'm going to cast... is a really cool mechanic. Yeah. I'm going to cast consider. Uh, I'm going to keep the card on top. And then I'm going to cast Archmage's Chum, taking control of your timeless dragon. How dare you? <laughs> Go to my turn, play a Hallowed Fountain, untapped, tick up to Fairy, swing in with my Timeless Dragon. Thief. <laughs> and then I will pass the turn there. Let's see what you got going on. Gonna counter your hand, hey? Attempt to blow up the dragon. Casting Snapcaster Mage, target counter spell. I'll allow it. And then I will counter your Infernal Grasp. And then for no real reason, Blood Moon. Mmm. That that could <laughs> did, have did been. Did you choke a little bit there? Yeah, that could have been really <laughs> bad. That that yeah, that that absolutely could have been bad. Oh, well, no cryptics for you. So I'm gonna bounce your blood moon with my Teferi, drawing myself Rude. a card. Play field. It's of been Rome. in my hand since turn one. <laughs> you should have played it earlier. <laughs> no, because all I had was non basics. <laughs> I didn't have a single basic to my name. Ah, well, I'm swinging in the air for four. Take the four. 
And I will just pass the turn there. That's not helpful. Blood Moon again. I'm going to do this until it sticks. Okay. Never mind. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Done. I don't know why you're trying to cast Blood Moon when you have Cave of the Frost Dragons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep you off a of cryptic mana. I'm going to cast Snapcaster Mage. I'm going to target my Archmage's Charm. Also that. I draw two cards. Mm-hmm. Play my own man land, Hall of the Storm Giants, tick up my Teferi, run out Solitude. Yeah, that's the game. Yep. I mean, let's be real, it was game either way. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if you had anything sneaky going on that I didn't know about. I know you got no cards in hand, but I can't be bothered checking your graveyard. But yeah, we'll swing in for lethal. <laughs> All right. And there game it is. Game two. Alrighty, everyone. So we're sideboarding against Josh. Josh has got a, a dragon's deck that seems pretty slow. I think we definitely have an advantage. He's able to exile our graveyard and stuff. He's trying to play a responsive game as well. I honestly don't think we need the path to exiles. So we can bring in a solitude over that because we actually don't mind him gaining life because we're able to just control him. And I'd much rather not be able to get basic lands out from under his own blood moon. So by the same logic, I'm going to bring in spreading seas so I can hurt his blood moon. And then I think I'm cutting a single cryptic command yeah just go down to one cryptic command that seems good and we will run it back like this all right so we're up against control naturally that means we're going to want the blossoming calms in both of them rest in peace to deal with the snapcasters collective brutality to rip the spells from his hand and i don't think dam is worth anything here so i think I think we're just siding in these six. Now, as for what we're taking out, I don't think Nahiru's doing anything in this game. Blood Moons aren't doing anything. Collect uh, Cathartic Reunion is a bit slow here, so I will trim two of them and likely trim the Infernal Grasps. Because again, he doesn't have much in the way of creatures. Aside from that, I don't know, maybe I want the Colligan's Commands. I'm not sure. If I bring them in... And I guess they're over the last two cathartic reunions, so we will give that a shot. Because what's the worst that could happen? Apparently we're down a card. Hmm. Suppose we bring in the engineer to deal with the tokens if he steals them again. I think that's it. I think we're good to go. You get to go first. Yay! This is unkeepable. Mine's a keep. Uh, this one's not much better. This one's actually worse. This I can keep, and I think think bottoming that and maybe this we're gonna play a cave of the frost giant frost dragon <laughs> we're gonna pass turn okay i was expecting an esper sentinel yeah look so would i i would have liked one gonna play hall of the storm giants and we'll just pass it there oh look it's beetlejuice all right we're gonna cast consider in response to your esper sentinel keep the card on top mountain and Pass. Play a flooded strand and pass. Ooh, that's a thing. Lanes, combat, swing in for one. Take it. And then rip in pepperoni. And crack my flooded strand. Hallowed fountain. I'm going to pay the two life and I'm going to have to give you a card. Yay. To counter. I don't like that. Well, that you get a free card. No, I don't like that you're countering my card. I mean, your rest in peace turned into a shock. No, it turned into a bolt. So I just dealt three damage to myself and gave you a card. That's the best lightning bolt for two men over. Oh my goodness. Okay. Back up Esper Sentinel. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, you, it was you, the best. So you probably, did you draw that off the Esper Sentinel? Yeah. Okay. I was going to say. He wanted, he wanted a friend. Yeah. If not, you should have definitely um, played that first. Let's mm. play an island and pass. And to combat. Yep. Swing in for two damage. We'll take it. To you, sir. Let's play an island and pass. Glorious land. <laughs> Combat. Swing in for two. The clock is real. The clock is ticking. I'm gonna cycle my shark typhoon for two. What? Why would you do this? Didn't you know I'm a control player, Josh? <sighs> Didn't you know that I love Sharknado? I do. I do. All right, we'll take one and destroy one of your Esper Sentinels. I don't like it. Island and pass. Coward. Swing in. No, you swing in. <laughs> I already did twice. Sorry, three times. I'll fetch up the Triome and pass. Hey, look, it's a thing I can cast. Do it. Cast it. Inquisition. Uh. Show me your gubs. Hey, you told me to, sh to cast it. Don't you sigh at me. No, I'm just thinking. What you're thinking is that you let it resolve. I think I am. Uh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm taking that Archmage's charm. That's fair. Tired of you stealing my stuff. It just, in case you had a, another spell, it wasn't worth casting anything and losing the ability to cast anything else without letting you draw. So, yeah, I'll let the Archmage's charm go. Just past the turn there. I mean, your clock is superior to mine. Yep. Uh, Blood Crypt tapped. Then I think we're going to Prismatic Ending your token. Okay. And I will attack. I'm gonna run out Snapcaster. Mm-hmm. Target my Archmage's Charm. Let's steal my Esper Sentinel. Gonna draw two cards, paying the one. That's no, bad. fair enough. Do you miss playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Because I feel like we never stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm still picking all your plays. <laughs> Uh, for those who don't know, when Josh and I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh, he used to know everything I was going to do, but he couldn't do anything about it because in Yu-Gi-Oh, I was very much a control player. All right, well, we're going to swing with Snapcaster Mage at you. Take the two. Okay. Mm, into combat. Yep. Swing in for one. No worries. And then we're going to attempt to cast a Timeless Dragon. Hmm. So if I counter it, it gets eternalized. It's interesting. Yeah, it's a fun decision. I think it's still correct to counter draw. I will pay the one. I would agree. I think the correct choice is to counter it there because otherwise you are just allowed a 5-5 five, five to be on the board. Yeah. I think the only scenario where you allow it to resolve is if you have a path. Yeah, it's kind of what I'm thinking. Or if you want to bounce it. Or Archmage's Charm the token. Oh no, I mean like straight up cast. I think the only time you want to let it resolve on the battlefield. Mm. Uh, I will pay the one to prevent you drawing. Tick up my Teferi to draw a card. Play a Hallowed Fountain tapped. Uh, I will swing in for two. Okie dokie. What I would, the things I would do to have an, to have one of those eggs out and have it transformed already. Yeah. All right. We're going to thought seize mm. with the bad artwork. My favorite artwork. I don't like it. I like the Lauren one. Okay. You can thought seize. I see. There's not a whole lot that's great in there. Interesting. The solitude. I would have thought you would have taken the counter spell. It occurred to me, but I think the solitude's an issue for when I do eventually get a threat down. Well, I mean, if you're planning on eternalizing the dragon now, I can't counter of that so yeah that makes sense i just thought you would have taken the counter spell okay combat swing it to fairy okay keep him a little to fairy in check that ain't little to fairy go to my turn oh okay um certainly make things interesting more than anything sure you can draw Ooh. let's go on tapping mm -hmm. pass to you draw let's go for a smoldering egg Sure. Attempt to prismatic ending the snapcaster. I'm gonna cast my other snapcaster. Mm -hmm. Target my counter spell in the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Counter prismatic ending, letting you draw, but I get a shock out of it. I'm going to respond to that stack with unholy heat on mm. the Teferi. Yeah, and you've got five card types. Okay, you sneaky little one. You got him. All right. Yeah, that was the plan. Like the whole turn was just <laughs> planned to get rid of that Teferi, whatever it took. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. And you get to draw a card out of it and everything. Okay. Woo. Also resulted in three counters on my egg mm. and past ten. Damn it. <laughs> I will pay the one to stop you drawing. I will make a big old shark. Tick up my Teferi. I just got rid of him. Play a Hallowed Fountain untapped. Mm -hmm. End step. I will untap two lands and pass to you. We'll draw. Play a mountain. Let's see how this goes. Colligan's command. Mm, okay. I'm going to get back as Asper Sentinel and ping at your Snapcaster. Sounds good to me. And then we'll pass turn. Okay. Be honest, I was expecting a little more. I'm sure you were. I'm going to cast Solitude on that smoldering egg. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, to be denied forever. It's the plan. Play Hallowed Fountain tapped. Yeah, I did almost go blue and use Delva, and then I thought, nah, that's cheating. It's not cheating. Swing in with my 5-5 five, five shark. Stupid Delva. Tick up my Teferi. Untap two lands and pass. Esper Sentinel. Okay. Probably getting a bit late and... in the game for that, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not seeing a whole lot right now to get me through this game. I mean, you've got time. You've got a blocker. We have 4-4 four, four versus a 5-5. Five, five. Then another 4-4. Four, four. Sure, you can draw. Can you? No, I can stop this. You can stop both of them. All right. Memory deluge. Scat. These two to hand. Memory deluge. Yeah, I'm pretty dead. 
That's the plan. And my favorite thing about Memory Deluge is it has a hidden ability. Flashback? Flashback. Well, it's not so hidden. No, it's not so hidden, but it is pretty cool. So like, sure, you can draw some cards because I'm just showing this off at this point. So I get a 4-4 four, four, <laughs> and then I get to dig through time. I like how both of those draws were lands. <laughs> Let's get you and you. And then Archmage's Charm on your Timeless Dragon. Mm -hmm. Swing in with everything. Joke's on you. I have Blossoming Calm. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to gain two life. Wh why? For no reason. Why do you have blossoming calm? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I what? have no idea. Anymore. Why after sideboarding is that in your deck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know at that point. Alrighty. So I'm going to go back to sideboarding a little bit. Yeah, I think you might have to. All right. I'll, <laughs> I'll see you in another sideboard game. Okay. Alrighty. So Josh's sideboarding game didn't go great. Um, He's really struggling to get down creatures. So all my counter spells are working very well. Honestly, don't think we need the Supreme Verdicts. We're able to just outvalue him. I'm going to cut the Supreme Verdicts for two paths just to keep our curve a bit lower. And we'll run it back like that. Okay. So that game didn't go too well and blossoming calm does nothing so we're gonna take that out and we're gonna bring in the dams because if he's gonna have a bunch of creatures then we're going to want that and that seems fine so back in we go i'm gonna keep this one i'm keeping this to arid mesa and pass yeah mm. i should have cracked that in your turn yeah that probably would have been ideal save yourself two life <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I will pay two life. Smoldering egg. I'm less in, I'm less invested <laughs> in flipping it now. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it's been a bit rough for the little smoldering egg. I think I think it would definitely do better in a blue shell. Oh, so the only reason I put this deck together is because I'm part of the um, Mardu Discord and I, they were all talking about how it looks pretty cool and how it could fit into a Mardu shell. So I thought, you know what, I, I don't mind the sound of that. So I'll give it a crack. See how we go. Mm. The answer is terrible. I mean, it's terrible against control. <laughs> so you're inquisitioning. What are you taking? Yeah, and I'm taking the Archmage's Charm. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. Sunbait Canyon and us. Okay. Castle Ventress. Pass. How do you feel about your other cards, though? Your... That's a question. <laughs> I don't know, like, the, the set feels somewhat, um, it doesn't feel as, how do I put this? Format warping? No, not even that. It just doesn't feel as memorable as some of the other sets that we've had recently. I think uh, that's a good thing, cycle though. the dragon? Yeah, I think that's a good thing, though, because, you know, for the last couple of years, every standard set has had a ripple effect on every single format all the way down the line and i've been sick of it and so now we're getting standard sets that are standard sets and sure there's a couple of cards that you know might bleed into modern or might be fringe playable in modern but there's nothing that i think is immediately apparent going to change the formats and i think mm. that's what you want i think strixhaven was a real hit in that regard i think kaldheim was a real hit in that regard and now Aether I think revolt as one. well Aether revolt i think was the last set that ha was like the last set that had that feel before we started hitting a rotating format yeah, I don't, I don't like the term rotating format when people talk about modern because it's not a rotating format. You can still play your cards. It's that the competitive yeah. scene has been getting more difficult to keep up with, which, you know, if you have one pet deck that you love and just want to keep adding to it, you can. And it's just like, oh, but I can't win with that deck. It's like, well, if you're only having fun when you win, then yeah, you are roped into this. But if you have fun just playing the game, I don't I don't really see mm. what the, the hassle is really. Like, oh, this is my no, one pet right. deck. It's like, okay, all right, I'm going to play an island and pass. Like, it, it's okay for, for people to be upset about everything. It's okay for them to go, oh, well, standards are getting too powerful and it's affecting every format. That upsets me as well. Just going, oh, they've turned modern into a rotating format, I don't think is fair. No, you're right there. Like, I think I, yeah, no, like it, it's not as bad as I've oh, that's made good. it out to be with that statement. Yeah. I Call like against that. That's... Getting the dragon back and making you discard. That's good. I'm not going to let it happen, but it's good. That's a Ooh. neat little engine, Josh. Hmm. So you could, you could do that. Colligan's command to get it back. Plane cycle it again for another triome and then cycle the triome. That's cool. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I like that. That's a cheeky little engine. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I've also, with this deck, I've also made it substandard. 
because what I should really have probably done, and like you'll agree with me the second I say it, is the deck is very clearly missing Darcy, it's very clearly missing Ragavan, two of the biggest red cards in the format right now. Imagine what this deck would be if I was using those instead. I don't I don't think you even need those. I just think if you're going dragon tribal, you should probably be running um blue over black or white. Mm. Um I, I would go over black because you got the timeless dragon. Then you get the dragon counter spell, uh, Salunga Scorn, I think. And then you also can run um, Cabin of Souls, I think would be very good. Mm. Vindicate <sighs> your Hallow Chat. Stop it. Your attacks is play. You should know how it feels to be on the other side of this. <laughs> um, yeah, then you get Cavern of Souls for your dragons. And there's a couple, like, then you get Sprite Dragon as well, which leans into the blue. Yeah, I think I think this is actually a Jeskai deck and you've you've made it a Mardu deck. Mm, probably because I just really like Mardu. Yeah, yeah. I might. We can have a play around with that and um, set that up for one of your videos, actually. Yeah, yeah. We can, we can, if you're interested, everybody, I'll, I'll be helping Josh with a dragon deck and we'll, we'll make a video out of that. Alrighty. Um, I'll just play Teferi. I suppose I should tick him up and pass. I suppose. I suppose I should also deal with him right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe out I should have just drawn. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay i mean i consider I'll, I'll take that that'll be my win yeah. for tonight i've killed two to fairies yeah, with unholy very good. heat it's very good i really see why unholy heat has really made an impact on modern yeah it's just fantastic oh god damn it well i'll play to fairy's older brother who's also called to fairy <laughs> Also looks like Idris Elba. Yes. Idris Elba, if you're watching this, stay away from the magic films, please. <laughs> Idris Elba, if you're watching this, why? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Apparently Joe Manganiello's a magic fan. Apparently, uh, who else? Right, Elijah Wood, maybe? Um, no, it's uh, yeah. Post Malone, isn't it? There's a bunch of people who play magic who you wouldn't, who you'd look at and would think, why? Oh, you take him at Archmage's charm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And Idris Elba, if you are watching this, The Mountain Between Us was a fantastic film. So thank you for that. I haven't seen that, but it's, I, I, I think I wanted to. It's very good. Is that good. the one with Kate Winslet? Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> That's That was on my list when it was first in cinemas and I never got to watch it. Um. <laughs> Idris Elba, if you are watching this, you were great as Bloodsport in The Suicide Squad. <laughs> I'm not saying I this only wish that I could have paid to watch it. Uh, unfortunately, we live in, as you know, Chip, we live in Australia and cinemas have not been accessible. Oh, yeah. So, oh, oh. I've, I've had to live up to the Australian. Yeah. I shouldn't uh, really be saying, yeah, I should be saying, ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> All right, I'll play wall of omens draw a card and then i'm just gonna pass to fairy will untap some of my lands no untap mine no, i need mine swamp and pass <laughs> you're very confused by what's going on here i see it just seems like you've got a handful of lands worse all right, well, let's tick up Teferi. Run out Castle Vantress, go to combat, swing for three. So you have a Teferi ult after next turn. And I have a Shark Typhoon this turn. I'll mm. untap two lands, pass the turn. You're not much help right now. Damn. Damn. Okay. And pass the turn. Very nice. Um, yeah. I'll just pass. Let's tick up to Fairy. Play an island. I will just pass. Mm -hmm. I am going to planes cycle a timeless dragon. Okay. And get a sacred foundry. A uh, haunted ridge. I probably should have played the other. Yeah, I should have played the other land. Oh well. Let's eternalize one timeless dragon this turn. If I'd played the Sacred Foundry instead of the Ridge, I would have been able to do it with... No, I wouldn't have been able to do it with both. Never mind. I'm good at math. You are. Well, in the interest of balance, I also want a 4-4 flying token. So I'm going to Memory Deluge to get one. I don't like this. Get Unsubscribe. That and, that. and then I will play another Memory Deluge, which is honestly just paying dividends at this point as a card in a control deck. Get these it's two. nuts. It's, I'm really enjoying it. All right, well, I'm going to cast Prismatic Ending with two colors, but with X equals eight, I'm going to swing in for eight. I will take ultimate. it. Ultimate. Fairy and pass the turn there. 
Not going to draw five cards with you know mana. Do your worst, Josh. Done. Oh. We're going to prismatic ending. <laughs> My nine nine. <laughs> We're going to prismatic ending. Okay. Can you do anything about the last one? We're going to prismatic ending. <laughs> And then, oh, it won't give me the option to bring it in untapped. No, because you, you, you uh, tapped your sacred foundry. Anyway, that was my hand. That was my hand for the whole time that you were staring <laughs> at it and wondering what is he sitting on was damn pr prismatic prismatic. Yeah. So it's like when you said that they must all be lands and I played the Sunbait Canyon and didn't crack them. Like, well, you know, you know, wrong. it's worse than lands. Yeah. It's removal when you have nothing for me to remove. Let's take out your bridge. Let's make a tutu shark. Why are you it's giving a shark a tutu? <laughs> it's 2021. It can wear what it wants. Take out your triome. <laughs> um, Archmage's charm. Well, getting ahead of myself here. Snapcaster mage for an Archmage's charm. See, look, now you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, now I am playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you <laughs> turned my canyon into an island so I couldn't just commit seppuku. Yep, that was basically the plan. <sighs> Gave a frost dragon a pass. All right. Well, I'll attack you. So what do Stupid you think of the new, the new Midnight Hunt cards, Josh? Dragons suck. All right. <laughs> 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 oh, I was going to do a wrap up, but that's the end of the video now. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Until next time, everybody, have fun. <laughs> oh, God. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>